Lane Kiffin and the 15th ranked Ole Miss Rebels host Liberty this weekend. Former Rebels head coach Hugh Freeze is making his return to Oxford after resigning in 2017 after university officials found a pattern of personal misconduct. Here's what Kiffin's relationship with Freeze is like. I know Hugh a little bit um, from Chris, from my brother working here. He was always very good to Chris. Um, I've talked to him before, like when we hired Corey Batoon. Um, I was at a restaurant when he was in town and he came by and sat down for a little bit. You know, great respect. He was on the other side when he beat us twice and uh, has done a great job um, wherever he's been. And very unique, you know, offense that has always given people problems. Aaron Kiffin has never seen so many injuries on one side of the ball. Quarterback Matt Corral didn't practice Monday, and Lane said if the game was Monday, the receivers, obviously Mingo, but Braylon Sanders and Dontario Drummond wouldn't be available. Liberty 7-2 on the season, and he referred to Malik Willis, their quarterback, as a first-rounder. He also called the Flames an SEC opponent. Kickoff Saturday, 11 a.m. on the SEC Network, and we will have you fully covered. Well, Mississippi State football is rolling. The Bulldogs have won three of their last four games and coming off a 31-17 victory over Kentucky. This weekend, they're visiting Arkansas, their second straight game against a team coming off a bye week. It'll be a tough one and tough environment for Mike Leach's crew. Here's the head man on what Arkansas brings to the table. Yeah, well, they're one of the oldest. You know, we back to back, we got two of the oldest teams, plus they have an off week, you know, so again and then uh, uh, you know so I'm sure they'll be prepared I think I think they've got to incrementally better too kickoff Saturday at three on the SEC network in Fayetteville so the first college football playoff poll was released on Tuesday and there's seven SEC teams in there number 16 the Ole Miss Rebels and Mississippi State held in very high regard as well Number 17 on there. They weren't even top 25 on the AP poll. Shows how different those ones are. Top four are Georgia, shout out Lance Blocker, Alabama, Michigan State, and Oregon. He just uh, he, uh, fist bumping, thinking about his Bulldogs. Ohio State and Cincinnati are the first two out at five and six. The lowest SEC team ranked is the Kentucky Wildcats. They're at number 18. Ole Miss and head men's basketball coach Kermit Davis have agreed to a contract extension. It's a new four-year deal that runs through 2025. Over his first three seasons, Davis led the Rebels to a pair of postseason appearances. 2020's postseason canceled due to COVID-19. In his first year, Ole Miss really exceeded expectations. The Rebels finished sixth in the conference and earned a berth to the NCAA tournament, while Kermit collected SEC Coach of the Year honors that year. Our game of the week for week 11 has been announced. Starkville Academy at Heritage Academy. It's the second round matchup in the MAIS playoffs when the teams met in September. The Patriots got it done 30 to nothing in a game that included a lightning delay. The Volunteers are hot. They have won four of their last five, while Heritage's only loss of the year came against Leak Academy a few weeks ago. We'll have live shots at five and six on Friday from Heritage and full highlights along with a recap during end zone at 10 and 11 on WCBI and the CW. Our lineman of the week for week 10, the Lafayette Commodores. They've won their last five and haven't lost a game since September. Michael Fair's team will play Lake Cormorant Thursday night. And we'll have those highlights for you on end zone as well. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. WCBI's Lineman of the Week with Lafette High School is brought to you by Northeast Mississippi Electric Power Association. 